My name is John Aguiniaga. I'm a third year PhD candidate in the Population Biology Department at the University of California, Davis. I would like to take a little bit of time to chat with you all about my dissertation work, which is titled Within and Between Species Differences as Drivers to Mixed Species Grouping. The first thing that I would like to mention is that animal groups are very common in nature. They exist in marine systems, terrestrial systems, and even in the insect world. And there are a number of reasons why animal groups frequently exist. Some of the benefits to group living include improved search radiuses for ephemeral resources, improved foraging success for these ephemeral resources, and also improved predator detection. But the costs to group living are also important to understand. Individuals who live in groups can also be exposed to higher levels of parasite load and disease, as we have seen through COVID-19 recently, increased resource competition for things such as food, mates, and habitats, but they're also more conspicuous to predators. Because you live in groups, predators can actually detect you more often. And these costs and benefits are not unique to single species groups. They are also applicable to mixed species groups, which are also common in nature. You can see mixed species groups in mixed species herds in the Serengeti in Africa, or on a dairy farm, or in schools around the Great Barrier Reef, or even at your own uh, bird feeder. And the interesting thing about mixed species groups is that there are axes of trait variation. So when you consider a single species group, you have variation in the trait along a single axis. And this might be representative of differences in age, body size, or morphology. But when you consider mixed species groups, you now have this variation within a trait, within a species, but also between a species. So part of my dissertation work is to understand what are the behavioral drivers of mixed species grouping? How do these behavioral variation influence why mixed species groups form in the first place? And there are a number of questions that I'm interested in asking, but I will only focus on chapter two for this ARCS work. So for this ARCS work, I have developed a Bayesian sequential decision-making model to understand the conditions under which mixed species groups form. And I can talk to you a little bit more about all of this information during the presentation later on, but essentially I build a model of binary choice to understand how do individuals use information from their environment from other animals to decide where to go. I would like to thank the Laskowski Lab and ARCS funding for providing me funding for this project. Um, it was really great to be able to go to the United Kingdom to work on this project for a month, which I would not be able to do without this generous support. Thank you.